All right, you guys, so this is part two on how to replace the belts on this uh, vintage boombox JVC RC-727 JW. All right, so um, if you uh, remove the cables and everything I showed you, I showed you on the last video, uh, it's gonna be pretty easy from here, okay? You got all the screws. Oh, by the way, those are the screws right there. You can put them in the order you took them off of the boombox, all right? So you know where they go, because there's one, maybe just one, that is a different size, all right? And that one goes right here in the middle. It's different size, all right? So you remove the cables, you remove the clips, and I also, the, the cable for the, uh, for the, for the it's not a headphone jack it's something like that i don't know it's for like a different type of an alternate alternate type of uh of power something like that so i just tied it right there all right so it's not flapping around or anything like that actually this thing is met metal too so i'm just gonna keep, i'm gonna keep it down here all right so if you did all that, you got these cables right here, the one that goes right there, the two clips, it should be really easy to remove. You don't need to open the, uh, the cassette door for that, all right? So you just flip it this way, up, upwards. There you go, the whole board. And then you grab this thing right here from the middle. You grab it like that. Slowly, you push it towards you, okay? There you go. Put this front casing aside. And then you got the uh, uh, the mechanism right here. Okay. Just flip it over. Uh, the mechanism is right there, okay? So what you need to do now in order to get to the uh, cassette deck, okay? All right, so first of all, I think I've replaced these two belts right here. This one's fine, okay? This one's fine. The one for the, uh, for the counter. But this one, I think is pretty tight. It's a little bit tight. See if I can replace it, replace it for a different one. I'm not sure though. It feels tight. So I'm just going to replace it for a different size one. I think <clears throat> uh, this tiny gear right here is for the auto stop or something like that. This looks like the right one, but I'm gonna choose a, no, a different one.
same size. I think I'm, I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, this one seems to be the right one. So this boom box, uh, this type of boom boxes, these GVC boom boxes from the late 70s, some of them, or a lot of them, have these, uh, these idle tires right here. Even the, the spindles themselves have uh, idle tires right here on the side, okay? So those ones need to be a little bit uh, sanded down, just a little bit without really thin sandpaper. find the sandpaper that I use but is the is the lowest gray one the the, 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 the the thinnest one okay and it's uh, these gears right here maybe you can see them these ones these two and these ones You don't actually need to take uh, the spindles off to do that, all right? But it's gonna take you a little bit of time. Just put it right there and you spin, you spin the spindle, you know, trying to get most of the dirt and the, you know, like that, both of them. As you can see, these two spindles right here, these two tires right here, Okay, and I think uh, there's one more, two more on the on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna show you. All right, but if if you actually wanna take them off and actually get a better view of them and uh, uh, work on them properly, you can remove them with this. Uh, it's like two clips right here one on each one okay one on each sorry and uh, to remove those you can use one of these tools and just go like this really carefully you know grabbing it with your other hand like this and push it like that.
or you can put up uh, or you can put a piece of uh tape right there so in case it jumps you can catch it and you can also put like something like like a piece of paper around the spindle so if it falls it doesn't fall in between the mechanism all right because if that happens since these things have a little bit of grease it's gonna get stuck somewhere and believe me you're not gonna find it all right you're not gonna find it for anything and these little these little pieces right here they're really hard to find okay so be careful when you remove those, okay? Because they can jump. Like I said, just put a little bit of paper right here around it. You know, like this. Like that. A little bit of tape on top of the clip, then you can remove it. And it's either gonna get stick to the tape or fall right here, okay? If you actually need to remove them, I did. Just to get a better result. And then these ones, you can do the same thing. This one, you can actually sand it down. You don't need to remove it. But this one right here, if you don't want to remove it and you want to sand it down, oh, sorry, this one. You can push, uh, I think it's Q. No. It's a re uh, review. And it's gonna come down, see? It's right there. And this one also uh, has a clip right there. And you can do the same thing. Or you can just leave it there. You can remove it and clean it, up, and clean it up if you want to. Or you can just remove it and do a better job when it's outside. All right? All right, so in order to get to the uh, cassette deck, we also need to remove this uh, this uh, FM uh, dial uh, aluminum trim, okay? So this is just two screws right here, right here. Just this one. And this one right here. And then you just flip the uh, this uh, this hand this indicator. You just, you just flip it like that. Okay, and then you grab it. And I always keep the the screws right there so I don't lose them. You can put a piece of tape on them or just leave it somewhere you don't you're actually gonna move it. All right, all right. So this video is pretty long already, so I'm gonna stop it right there, and then I'm gonna make a third part. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.